That's right, everybody. Warcraft 3 is back. Once again, we have a Warcraft 3 campaign. And this one, we're going to do a custom campaign called The Coming of the Horde. So, who doesn't love Warcraft 3? I used to do it all the time until we ran out of campaigns. And uh, I feel like it's time to bring some back. So, I'm going to do this campaign. I saw it on the Hive Workshop. And it's supposed to be about like the rise of the horde and, and, and I guess them coming to Azeroth or them building the horde to come to Azeroth. So let's, uh, yeah, let's start off with the prologue, the dream of Gul'dan. In the red world of Draenor, the great warlock Gul'dan searches the mysterious presence that has intimidated even his master, the demon Kil'jaeden. To find once again this presence, Gul'dan sends his mind in a dreamlike state to the depths of the twisting nether. The Twisting Nether, where the spirits of the dead dwell. It is here that this presence made contact with me. It is here that I sensed its power. The sorcerer, Medivh, his mind seemed boundless, but his thoughts moved so swiftly that it was difficult to learn anything from him. I sought counsel of his master, the demon killed Jaden, but he refused to answer my summons. Somehow I knew that he was afraid of this Medivh. But could I contend with a being who could intimidate my own master? I continued to venture into the twisting nether for several weeks, all but forgetting the disturbance that had caused me to question myself. Then, one night, Medivh appeared to me in my dreams. You fear me, for you do not understand me. See my world and understand your fear. Then fear me no more. I was powerless to resist what came next. Barren wastes. Dark swamps teeming with life. Endless fields of emerald grasses. Farmlands filled with rich harvests. Villages of proud and strong people. And then something, a fleeting picture that left a longing stirring inside of my soul. Buried deep beneath the ocean, dark and ruined, but still breathing. Still pulsing with the lifeblood of the earth itself. An ancient power. Ancient and terrible. I awoke. I embraced consciousness, knowing all along that the dream had indeed been real. Medivh had shown me the wonders of his world, knowing that the Horde would not be content until his world was ours. The coming of the Horde, the rift appears. Weeks pass with no word of Medivh. But now the rift appeared. Sensing the energies of the rift, Gul'dan sends an elite guard to secure the rift's location on the Hellfire Peninsula. I called you here, Uraman, because there are few agents in the Shadow Council that I trust to do this mission. For too long we have been waiting for the chance to bring war to a new enemy. And now this chance is at hand. 
But before revealing it to the ignorant clans, we need to secure the path to war for ourselves. I understand, Master Gul'dan. But why are we here at Hellfire Peninsula? Where the path is to our enemies? Where is the path to our enemies? There are no enemies in this world, my warrior. Thus we need to seek new worlds to conquer. And now the chance is upon us. Listen to me and you will understand. A powerful magic created a rift between our world and another. And using this rift we will be able to build a portal that will lead the Horde into a new realm. And we will bring war to this world. Yes, Master. I presume my mission here is to secure the location of this rift? I will find it, Master Gul'dan. Good, my warrior. Kill any intelligent creature that you can find. Slay any orc, ogre, or whatever that crosses your path. Be sure that no one besides us has the knowledge about this rift. All right, all right. Interesting, interesting. We're playing as Uraman the Voracious. So, he's a bone crusher. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Strength is his primary intelligent, a primary uh, attribute. Start off with Battle Cry. Roars in fury, dealing 60 to all enemies, slowing their movement and attack for 5. Let's see. Shockwave, Bash. Berserk Frenzy. Ooh, fancy. I am intrigued. All right, so there's Gul'dan, the Shadow Counselor. La, la, la. All right. Let's see, Warchief. What we got here? Uraman, it seems that a tribe of ogres have set camp in the region. Well, we're going to take them out. Then let's kill all the beasts. Let none survive our wrath. Loktar Ogar! Wherever they are, kill them! Yes! Kill them! Kill them all! Alright, give him two. There you go. Scroll of healing, let's go. Easy enough that ogres could not stand us. We were too powerful. Oh, we even got skeletons too. Let's go, dude. Oh, gotta kill some Draenei. Draenei, I can't believe these dogs still exist. Slay them. Well, of course. There's just some outliers. And for those who don't know... Um, the orcs, once they had been uh, corrupted by all the big bad demons of the Burning Legion, they had... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm going to turn this off for both of them. Um, yeah, so the Draenei were pretty much the first victims of the insatiable orc slaughter. They had drunk the demon blood, and they were thirsty for battle. And essentially, uh, Kill Jaden had lied to the orcs, saying that the Draenei were plotting to kill them. They were clearly more advanced. You need to go ahead and take them out while you still can. And that's pretty much exactly what happened. They went to go kill them, went berserk. And if you read uh, Rise of the Horde, the book, it'll tell you about a great disturbance in Thrall's father, Duratan. Because he and... Orgrim Doomhammer actually had visited the Draenei when they were young uh, orcs and saw that the Draenei were very inviting and very kind neighbors. So they were very conflicted. And uh, yeah, it's a really good story. I really think uh, it's a, it's worth any watch. And just a quick plug here. I don't know if I've mentioned them on the channel before, but uh, Flying Buttress, who is an editor for a bigger YouTube channel, uh, does Warcraft content. Haimu Reddick, I believe. He does storytellings, condensed storytellings of these books. He does a very, very good job. I will link him uh, somewhere here, somewhere on the, the channel or comment section, somewhere around there. Very, very good, though. I enjoy his content very well. 
So I guess this is right after we're picking up. Uh, we are, I'm assuming all the Draenei have pretty much been attacked and destroyed as best they can. And we're going to secure the location of the portal that will take us to um, Azeroth and begin the first orcish invasion of Azeroth. We don't need to lose. I'm going to go ahead and pop a healing scroll. Wow, we're getting some good stuff. Gem of health. I wish we had more mana, though, unfortunately. All right, perfect. So that should be it for this little corner. Yep. All right, let's go back up and see what else we can do. I am curious how much detail this uh, campaign's going in, because I've, I've never played it. I, I've read a few things to make sure it was actually a viable campaign, and I saw good reviews, so I went and downloaded it, and this is where we are now. Kakao. Let's attack these spooters. Oh, what's that? It looks like that the ogres aren't our only enemies here. Well, what is it then? Spooters? Big spooters? It seems that some orcs are talking to them. Maybe they have allied with the orcs. And for their symbols, symbols and colors, I think that they are a laughing skull clan. Okay. Yeah, I believe whoever made this is clearly... um. Not a native English speaker, which is fine. It's a good campaign nonetheless. This can't be. Maybe the Ogre Mage Bogor has sent these orcs to discover the rift as well. We can't let that happen. Kill all Laughing Skulls, my warriors. I get the gist, though. I can I can use context clues. I mean, it's still very, very good. So I won't ever bash anybody for trying to learn a second language. Scroll of Healing. Let's go. All right, so this. Right away. All right, cool. Destroy all laughing skulls in your way. Destroy the left skull camp near the rift. Urman must survive. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where you at, ho? Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Go, 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 go. I want you to hold position. Keep you back here, matter of fact. Battle cry, kill him. Oh god, I didn't realize he was level 11. This dude is kicking our ass. There we go. Yeah, we're fine though, we're fine. We have the plot all of our own, our side. No! Oh, I saw that too late. Bash. Wow, that really took a beating. They were really tanky. There we go. Take out this ogre mauler and we'll be done with it. Oh, if I'd have picked that up sooner. Dag burn it. Okay, well. I got three more creeps that I can possess or charm, whatever. Do we have anything in here? Nope. We sh might have something down here, though. Ooh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me stop. Hold position. You guys keep moving all around. All right, you stay here. What do we want? A warlock or a grunt? You know what? Give me a grunt. Let's go, 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 go. Just everybody leave. Everybody leave. Everybody leave. Everybody leave. Including you. I'm going to take a. I can't do that. Okay, cool. Everybody leave. Do what I say. All right, cool, cool, cool. We got, got some troops now. Perfect. All right, so we really only got one ogre to contend with. Let's go. 
Now I don't feel so bad about losing those ogres from before. Or losing the uh, orcs from before. So there's a spider over there. Too. I'm sorry, a spooter over there. Let's get this cage. Power to the Horde, let's go. I am indeed enjoying your power to the Horde. Kill the spider. Firebolt. I hate his mana supply, good lord. Uh, mm. Trying hard not to let him die, but it's only going to be a matter of time. Let's see anything in there. Nope, we tried. All right, we got a full pet. Well, you know what? Let me just take you out. That's fine. We uh, we tried. At least you died in battle. You will be going to Orc Valhalla. gonna go left looks like that's the only well we can no no that's right that's the only way yeah i think this is the only way kill them kill them all Ruh. so it's a thunderclap but it's a, a roar thunderclap that's what it seems like yeah just a little bit more powerful thunderclap which i'm okay with all right Kill the pig. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a dun worm. All right. All right. All right. All right. Got the scaly tans. This raider's going to die, most likely. It's fine. Kill the dune worm. For the spice. All right. Here's a bunch more draenei. I'm going to assume that the rift is probably, like, right here. That's my prediction. Yep. There he is. There he goes the firebolt B well too late now ooh I see some hellfire in the corner there I wonder if that means anything I see some sludge monstrosities coming after us so we'll see how that goes I don't know if that's actually gonna matter if they're gonna reset oh that's the right you're the one that keeps doing it understood Okay, great. Looks like they reset, so we're good to go. Even more Draenei. Can't these curs stay out of our way? Stay out of our way. No, they cannot, because uh, while you were born on this uh, world, they have been there for pretty much just as long as you can remember, so I don't know if that's quite fair to kick them out. But I know you were coerced, so... I mean, no matter what side you're on, whether you're against the what the orcs did or, or for what the orcs did, um, it's a lose-lose situation. Because if you're for them, then you're for, you know, like, genocide and violence. But if you're against them, then you're, I don't know, it's such a tough difficult. Like, I want to I wanna say that I feel sorry for the what the orcs had to go through because they were coerced. But I feel like they would eventually have gotten to that uh, conclusion within a few generations anyway. That's just what they do. They they make war. I think the process was just sped up. I'm I'm horde for life, so it's fine. I'm I will always love the backstory that works, but when you come down to thinking about it, it's like you have to wonder would it have happened? Would it have still happened in the way it did or would it have just been slowed down? I don't know. It's one of those things. It's always interesting to think about when you read the the books with all the great detail. It is always good to get a new perspective. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, nope, you hold. You're going to get some healing while we do this stuff. Alright, those 
those are dead. I'm gonna ooh ooh. There is a camp though, so kind of want to hold off for a second. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and attack these guys. Let's go. I'm gonna save that beast scroll for that uh, stuff up there. Perfect. Scroll of healing. Let me go ahead and use that now. Alright, nothing over here. I think we're safe to go fight the ogres, but I'm going to go on the left side here. Figure out what these sludge, sludge monstrosities are hiding with this fountain. I'm not sure if that's the rift, but I know there's some sludges over here. Cripple him. I don't want him to do damage. Oh, wait, not cripple. Uh, curse, same thing. Hmm. Better be careful, homie. Greater mana. Mm, I don't even know if I need that right now. Let me come back to that. We'll go up here, swing back down, and then fight these guys. Ooh, is that actually a fountain of health for real? Holy moly, it is. Well, in that case, I shouldn't need uh, the... Oh, purge. I shouldn't need this, then. Let me grab this. And it does, what, 300? I don't even have 300 mana, so... I'll use Shockwave on these guys. Alright, let's go fight these Sludge guys. Alright guys, let's go back. I mean, realistically... I don't need these, but we'll keep the scroll of healing. I think that's a little bit more valuable if we're going to keep having these large um, armies throughout the mission. Now, I don't even know if we keep this guy throughout the entire mission or he's just a one level, one level wonder, but. We found the Laughing Skull encampment. Destroy them all, my warriors. Destroy them in the name of Gul'dan. We sure will. Not really that much, but I see some cages in the background there, so we're going to see. Alright, we got rid of that tower really fast. Now we're going to go in and beat the absolute crap out of them. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Move, 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 move. Bring all of the warriors out. Alright, everybody chill out for one second. I'm gonna go. You, come here. What are you doing? I said pull them all out. Now we're gonna cast... Frost armor on a lot of them. Go take this out. Alright, bring these guys here. That's fine, that's fine. You can uh, capture me. Kill me. Do it. Why you guys are... Wait, 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 wait. I need you guys to attack all of these cages. Alright. Alright, time for killing. Let's go. Perfect. Let's go. Now we got a whole army for real. And once we defeat all of these buildings, I'm assuming the rift is just over this hill. So I was pretty much right.
Finish it off. Go, 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 go. Got a nice little army. One's gonna die, and one's on the way. But other than that, I'll say 10 healthy units. Congratulations, my warriors. The enemy is dead, and the path to the rift is clear. Well, let's go check out that rift. Yes, sir. We've completed the quest. Oh, shit. Let's go. Bolt. Kill him. In the name of Gul'dan. Let's go. Smack. Smack. Let's go to the rift, guys. Oh, so we must be wrapping around a little bit up here. Okay. That makes sense. Give me that potion of healing. What's this? Greater mana. Ooh. And another scroll. They're really generous with the drops in this one. I'm glad. I have played a couple of campaigns in the past where you'd be lucky to find maybe one potion of healing on a giant map. Not very not very uh, fun with that. So you got to be really conservative with your stuff. I like being able to use them. Which is why I kind of like the rune system of the Frozen Throne where it's not an item. You could just rune of healing and then be done with it. Now that I'm all right with. But if you don't give me anything, that's kind of kind of hard. I mean, I guess that's the point if you want to make a level difficult is to limit how much you can actually do and you got to strategize more, but sometimes the fun is just barreling through places, you know? Finally, we found the rift. Kill all these ogres and the rift will be ours. I sure hope it'll be ours. We fought so much for it. Imagine last second another orc clan shows up and kills everyone. Let's hope not. All right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. Yep, all right, kill these fools. Bolt the strong ones. All right, now we're good. I need to heal this guy. There, or not heal, armor this guy. All right, so half of it's done. Now we got a chieftain and a... Or a lord. Oh, God, he's so big. He's so strong. Purge the bloodlust out of him. Yeah, we're going to lose some. It's fine, though. The good old unholy frenzy cripple combo. He'll basically just be doing the same amount of damage, just losing health in the meantime. Slap him. Slap him good. Slap him hard. We've done it! The mighty Gul'dan. Very good, my warrior. The rift is ours. Let's begin the construction of the portal that will lead us to the new enemies and to new victories. Let's go. We've completed. Let's quit this one and go back to the little screeny screen. Look at that victory. The rift appears. About 25 minutes. Not bad, honestly. Ooh, we got another interlude. Nice. I do love these interludes. I love a lot of background information. So I love when we get a little bit of a cinematic-ish before every mission. So yeah, that was the first chapter, uh, The Rift Appears, of the Coming of the Horde campaign. You know, I really hope, and I haven't looked much into it, but I will. I hope that this guy or somebody else has done a, another uh, campaign where it's like continuing after they get to Azeroth. So that would be that would be really cool. A good first war campaign or a second war campaign. That's always fun. So yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in for the start of this uh, fantastic campaign. Really well done. Cannot complain. Very good idea to make this campaign. And uh, 
I appreciate. Um, I do not know who made it. Let me go find out, and I'll shout them out in the next episode. I really do apologize. I should have wrote that down because they deserve all the credit for me being able to play this. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I guess I will see you all in the next episode when we start off sometime next week, I guess. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.